It's time now for Better Fashion, which we already talked about that Melissa and I are twinning with Debbie Wright's dresses <laughs> right. that she Thank picked you, out Debbie. for us. <laughs> now maybe we can get twin puffy coats. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about puffy jackets. Debbie, look at us. We are you, wearing the bow dress from Burlington that you told us about. No, We did not plan it, but we showed up in green and black. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, you guys look great. And how amazing is Burlington? The price you paid for as amazing as you look. Like I love it. 25 bucks. Can't beat it. <laughs> Crazy. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. But now we're talking about the outer layer, the puffer coat. It's what you're seeing everywhere, right? It's what everyone is wearing from our kids all the way up. It's for literally every age, for guys, for gals. The puffer coats are going to keep you warm, but they're truly the epitome of where street style is at right now. And I'm loving all the bold, bright colors that we're seeing. Okay. Ooh, so I yellow. see a yellow one. That's nice. Isn't that so nice? So we saw a lot of yellow in 2021. That was the color of the year with gray. So whether you were into brights or into neutrals, this is where it's at. And, you know, when you think about it, the coat is such a statement because we're we're in a cold season and this is the piece you're not taking off when you're running errands. So the puffer coat has all different variances. You can go a little extra puffy if you want that extra down and that beautiful warmth, but you can also go a little lighter. We've all seen the more subdued, like thinner puffer coats, which we'll see coming up next for the guys. So really, there's all kinds of levels of puff out there. I know I was just looking for one for my son. He needed a new coat that's going to keep him warm, but he's not a big puffer guy. So I went to Marshall's. I mean, you can really find them anywhere. But what I love most about the puffer coat is you can see it dressed. You can do it dressed down. We're seeing it on the red carpet with some of the big celebrities. So dress it up, dress it down. It literally works with like everything you're going to put on this season. Yeah, I mean, I used to kind of resist it because I didn't really like the way that they looked all that much. I prefer more of like a pea coat. But then I heard a quote, mm. there's no such thing as bad weather, it's bad clothes. So like I said, you Ooh. know what, I'm sick of being cold all the time. I'm just going to embrace the puffer coat. Yeah. And now I have them in a couple different colors, long ones, shorter ones, but it really does keep you warm. I have a long one and when I'm not wearing it, then I put it on me like a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be so much warmer if you wear it one of those. It truly, and what's nice about the, you know, the thinner ones, if you will, they do keep you warm, but like Brandon, he gets cold. So he'll layer a hoodie underneath it. So what's nice about some of the thinner ones is you don't get that like Michelin tire sort of look. Cause I know some of those are a little hard to wear, especially with the seatbelt and, you know, the pocketbook, but there's so much out there and the thinner ones you can also layer, which is also a big trend. But I would recommend a couple of things. Like you said, Melissa and Kara, you can find them in different lengths. You can get them shorter. You can get them longer. So depending on, you know, where you're going, what your activities are, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Get a couple of options, actually, because they're going to really do well for you. So you're prepared for every element out there. But also, I encourage you to get some color because whether you're wearing jeans or, or leggings, a bright yellow, a pretty orange, the color for 2022 is purple, which is so beautiful and represents like curiosity and spirituality and all the things we love. And there, I just found this purple puffer <laughs> vest on QVC and I, it makes me so happy because it's purple. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, and I saw you post this on your Instagram. You've got your little vegan leather lug tote to go <laughs> with your purple vest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the, the puffer vest is actually a faux leather by Isaac Mizrahi. So you can get down puffer coats. You can get faux leather vests. You short, long. I mean, literally looking for the guys too. I, don't you love this color combination? And there's that purple again. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that is nice. So, Deb, what's like the price point if people are going to Marshalls or Burlington or someplace like that and they want a good puffer coat? How much would people be spending? Well, for Brandon's, it was a good brand name. And I'm trying to remember what the name of it was. I can't recall the actual brand, but I think I paid forty nine dollars. Yeah, right. Good. So anywhere from forty nine dollars, I know, um, you know, Helena, Karen, didn't she want a really like designer high end? You can go high end. She wanted with one, and then I found to... one that looked just like it. <laughs> Was she okay with that? Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zara had some cute ones uh, too. You can get online, and they're they looked like the high. Yeah. <laughs> 
And you can get them all the big sporting stores. And good for you, Kara. You can get lots of great lookalikes that keep you warm. And that is the point right now. We want that warmth. I always think of Denise with the puffer coat. It makes my heart so happy because she loved them right down to her ankle because she was always cold, yes. which you can also find out there, right? I have mine down to the ankle too because then if you just wherever you are, you can sit down and you're going to be covered. Right, but, exactly. Um, all right. Thank yes. you, Debbie. Thank you. Happy, happy New Year. New Year. Happy New Year, beauties. <laughs>